testicular epididymal extraction. Now, in early days of IVF, there was no ICSI, so patients with azospermia were not having any. If the, I, I always recommend patient biological child first. They, we, as, a, as embryologist, we always telling the patient if there is azospermia, we will evaluate. Check the hormone, is there if high rise of uh, FSH, testicular failure, whatsoever, then you have to assess his testicular size, uh, then ultrasound for uh, uh, size and volume and uh, hormone, everything goes parameter normal. He might have production in his testes, but, but not coming out. Maybe vast different blockade or obstructive azospermia or non-obstructive azospermia. Maybe maybe genetic. Some some patients will have a family history of genetic. Then the they, the kids will inherit the. I was having one patient with a undescended testis. We have the the test the only he he is a, a big company owner. The, maybe they are supplying uh, ammunition to Bofors for guns, but he has only a child, and he has undescended test testes. They are crying for him. But in Middle East, I was working. We have we have cut the testes from the abdomen, and we have retrieved the we have retrieved the sperm from the from the undescended testes and used. And there is a chance chance the wife is young with a, with good good age and good endometrium then there is a possibility they can have. But when come to India, there is no much research work going on. So patient will convert, oh, madam, why, why you take trouble? You go for a donor sperm. This is common practice in India. But we, the times, as, a, as a, we, we are getting, we are counseling our center, we are very transparent. We are digging until we, we say there is no sperm in the testis. So then uh, testicle and epididymal sperm. If the, Obstructive azospermia, we are aspirating. The production is there in the testes, but the vas is blocked. So the sperm is only fluid is coming, the sperms are blocked. So the best method, we, are, we have a, a needle aspiration. Go to the proper, uh, the proper place and aspirate. You can get as much as a sperm from the vas. Still, you will find there is no sperm in the ejaculate and we get, we do ICSI, then the patients are having a PISA. Percutaneous, uh, I was talking about percutaneous aspiration, that is a PISA, and micro -tisa. Sometimes you, you testicular, testicular volume, we have a good testes and good uh, hormonal result. Uh, every parameter is normal. But some, some focal areas, the sperm production is there, but some areas not there. So some areas, fibrous, some area dead, some area there is a production. How, then, then what is the solution? The micro tease. Micro tease, they, they, uh, there is a high resolution microscope, but the specially trained androgists can perform the, this surgery. They check the tubules, the healthy tubules, they extract one by one without going gross examination, aspirating the tissues. They go tubule by tubule and aspirate and we can find the sperm, and the, 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 there is a possibility that the patient may have a uh, good outcome. Cryptozospermia. This is again, as a fertility management, as an embryologist, we, we see every sperm is very important. The cryptozospermia is hidden. You have no sperm, as I told you earlier, there is no sperm in the uh, gross examination. Centrifuged pellet, you have a two to three sperms, or five to six sperm, or 10, 10 to 50. That is called cryptozospermia. I have a patients, in, because Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, there is no donor discussion further. So we used to centrifuge. Sometimes, we, one, one incident I will tell you that we got 10 eggs, but we, got, we collected, we could find four sperm in the whole edge of blood. We six eggs we have discarded, and four, four eggs we have used for ICSI, then we have transferred the embryos. That is the situation. So if it, this same patient goes to general lab where the people are not having any experience on, on them, because every sperm is important as an embryologist, but for them it is just uh, the other test. So they don't see as a what is important. Maybe they, they have no idea about 
what importance about one searching one sperm even if i see one sperm i will i will inform my my clinician maybe he need a treatment uh, the treatment treatment may help him or endolid maybe he has a vasectomy he, there, there is a vasectomy he can go for correction there is chance he can improve the sperms and so you have a good option to explore nowadays for, as a fertility management retrograde ejaculation because i i worked i worked in middle east for 15 years with the, some of the pioneers so i have i have encountered every typical case because indian embryologists this this is this never never saw i have a saudi ambassador to kuwait who is a diabetic patient the doctor told me he is a retrograde ejaculation he, he has having retrograde ejaculation what they have Uh, they gave two days for bicarbonate buffer, and and they kept him under under buffer so that urine will get pH stabilized pH. Then he has masturbated our intercourse. Then he got three liters of urine after because what happens the in, in a diabetic patients as for some particular uh, category of the patient instead of traveling to uh, uh, through vas the the semen will transfer. into the blood blood urethra so so stabilizing the ph you can take uh, uh, you can make the survival of sperm then we have used that sperm then uh, we i uh, 3 liters i have centrifuged i found a good beautiful sperm he has a boy so this is a, a joy this is a type of uh, work after you do then you achieve the result in normal circumstances circumstances he is not having a chance to have a baby in his lifetime so god has created the system and we have uh, achieved the technology and we are using the technology step as i explained stabilize the ph and bicarbonate then ixi outcome can be 